The Old Man and the Sea by Ernest Hemingway. Santiago is an elderly fisherman who has not caught a fish in eighty-four days, and is considered sailor. Wanderling, who had been trained by Santiago, has been forced by his parents to work on a different, luckier boat. On the eighty-fifth day of his streak, Santiago takes his skiff early and starting to row far. He catches nothing. It's back a small apple core in the morning before hooking. The fish is too heavy to haul and begin to talk. Santiago holds. On through the night, eating the abacore after sunrise, he increasingly appreciated the fish, showing respect and compassion toward his adversary. On the third morning, San Diego draws the marlin in his harpoons. He lashes the fish to his boat. A shark smells blood in the water and takes a bite of the marlin, killing shark but losing his weapon. In the morning, Marlin cries when he sees Santiago's state. Santiago goes back to sleep and dreams of a lion and an African speech. The Old Man and the Sea is one of Hemingway's most enduring. Works and may very well become one of the true classics of his generation. Hemingway is also one of my favorite writers. Beside *The Old Man and the Sea*, I have read some of his other works, such as *The Sun Also Rises*, *A Farewell to Arms*. But the old man and the sea is the one that left the deepest impression on me. I first read this book when I was eight, and now I remember it just as well as if I had read it yesterday. At last, I recommend you to read *The Old Man and the Sea*.